In Argentina, an 11-year-old girl gives birth to a rapist child after she was refused an abortion. Hmm. An 11-year-old girl called Lucia to protect her identity had to undergo a cesarean section on Tuesday after 23 weeks of pregnancy. She became pregnant after being raped by her grandmother's 65-year-old partner. Despite the repeated request for an abortion from the child, mother and a number of Argentine women's rights activists, the authorities ignored her plea. At the hospital to which she was admitted after two suicide attempts, Lucia told the psychologist, I want you to remove what the old man put inside me. While abortion is illegal in Argentina, a 1921 law allows it to be performed in cases of rape or, or when a woman's life is in danger. Tucumán's health secretary, Gustavo Vigliocho, insisted the child did not want an abortion. The doctor who performed the procedure accused Tucumán's governor, Juan Menzur, of using the child for political purposes. Wait, it's legal to have abortions in case of rape cases, but they're not yeah. living here? How does well, that you, you, yeah, you, you had to apply for an abortion. Uh, and she wanted to commit suicide because of this? Twice. She tried She tried to commit suicide twice. Oh, no. So poor, poor woman. At, 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 no, 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 she's 11. Okay. She's 11. Holy shit. I'm, what the fuck? I missed the most important part of this news. 11. An 11-year-old girl. She's just a baby herself. She's giving birth at 11. Fucking monsters. Why did, why did they not let her? Pieces of shit. Well, what the Why fuck? Not, oh, oh, yeah, Pro they're, they're getting an abortion, yeah. Pro-life stances. Oh, my God, Argentina. I, I, like, this was such an obvious case. If there was any case, this was the most obvious one to let her have an abortion. It was rape. She's 11. What else, what other, what else did they want? What the fuck? Like, I don't understand. How did they get away with this? Like, why is this getting attention now? Like, what? Uh, well, because they just... They just removed the baby. Is that right, Jim? Um, what I yeah, understand yeah, well, is just now getting attention now because well, they, they actually just well, took her to the hospital to have well, the baby wait, removed. Wait, Jim, let, well, let, well, they, Jim they, let, they, let, they, guys, 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 let one, I know I make this mistake as well, but let one person finish speaking before the other one speaks. But go on. Uh, so it's getting attention right now because the baby has just been removed. Now, I still don't think the baby was aborted. It was born at, or removed from her at 23 weeks. Um, I don't know if they're trying to keep it on on some sort of you know neonatal life support system or something like that incubator let it continue growing but um or if it was an outright abortion i still don't think they allowed her to have an abortion how did she try to commit suicide? is that right jim uh no she was um she was um uh it was late january whenever she found out that she was pregnant and then she tried to kill herself, and that's whenever she went to the the hospital and everything. And um, but the, the the baby they don't expect to to survive at least whenever they they. So it had wasn't an abortion, this. right? Because yes. they, they don't expect the baby to survive. So they still arm, and they still would not give this child, this baby herself, an actual abortion. And okay, so the baby is t was taken out because of what there was some issues no, she, she was no be, because she wanted it, it out of her she, she was killing herself and the psychologist she went before a psychologist and she told the psychologist that she wanted them to take the baby out right and and so they being in her in the interest of her of her health hmm. to remove the baby and put the baby on life support and everybody's is furious that, that they didn't that she didn't carry it out the other 20 weeks or whatever so, so at what month did they take the baby out? At 20, 23 weeks. 23, 24 weeks, something like that. Is, and, and this 24 is, weeks, that's and, right. And it's not going to survive, right? Well, oh there's, there, there's a possibility. Uh, 21 weeks is usually about the earliest that, that a baby will survive outside the womb. It's, is it fair not to call it a baby and just call it a fetus right now? No. no. Well, it's oh, no, born it, now. No, it's born. Mm. It's it, it's. Yeah, it, it's no longer uh, relying on on uh, on an umbilical care. It's no longer a parasite. So, so, so I missed the part where they okay. So given that it's legal to have abortion in rape cases, can can somebody explain to me why this one didn't survive? Didn't 
was she so they don't know for sure hmm. why she wasn't given an abortion mm -hmm. um it seems to be politically motivated however because the governor has gotten involved in all this hmm. um so i think what it is is they just wanted to perhaps and this is all speculation at this point no one knows for a fact as to why she was not allowed an abortion um that they just wanted to be a pro-life country um, he did not want to offer an abortion to women who legitimately needed it, especially a child. Um, and this was probably just going to be another one of those those cases where, you know, they got a lot of political look. Look, this eleven year old gave birth to this beautiful bouncing baby, and I don't. So this should be this but should I... become a huge disaster, like a PR nightmare for them. Oh, like... it better be. Yeah, but I I, I do want to clarify that abortion is not legal um, in Argentina. Right. Um. It. Yeah, I hope but this makes it legal. Great, it is. But Ar is Argentina still very Christian? Like, how how is it there? Like, is religion still mixed a lot with politics still in Argentina? Um, I mean, yeah. But, I mean, well, if you if you listen to because uh, Tucumán is you know is Catholic, and there is very much uh, embellishes his 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 Catholic side and talks about God and things like that. See this. This is what happens when you actually put the uh, life of a uh, not self of a fetus be before a living child, eleven year old girl. Let me see what the top comments are. Anything? Well, and and, and that, that's why people think that it's politically motivated is because he uses the Catholic Church to spread his message. Right. And this whole anti-abortion thing. This is a, a perfect, uh, you know, jump, jumping spot for him. Um. Okay, I'm going to read the top comments by. Uh, Kate, I think it's this, uh, yeah, top comments by Kate, uh, she's saying, I, okay, so she's responding to a whole bunch of other comments, I think, on our post, seems like she's not happy, let's see what the issue is, she's saying, I can't believe some of the comments on here, did you not read the article, she was 11, raped by a 65-year-old man, and she tried to take her life more than twice, plus the bigoted, self-righteous, and dangerous bishop, revealed her real name to the public making her a figure of anti-abortion at 11 years old uh well psychologically traumatized if if i need to explain any more why this girl should have been given the basic care she needed then you lack human decency and empathy wait what are what is she responding to are some of the other comments saying that she shouldn't have got an abortion on an anxious page uh some person okay so let me see this is what happened. So the second top comment is religion is evil, but the third one is Tay saying this is what happens when religion oversteps into government and laws are formed based on religion. Can you imagine what a theist reaction would be if laws were formed based on atheism? I don't know. Where's the? What are people saying? Um, you know, she might have been responding to laugh comments or or laugh, you know, emojis. People put those on everything they oh, do. Here, the t one person is saying this does not legitimize the call for legalizing abortion wholesale. I uh, this well, this doesn't common sense does. But the, you don't need this case for for legalizing abortion. Okay, so a lot of atheists are anti-abortion, and um, so a lot of people think like get surprised by that. But we see. But a lot but, of them. but 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 this this isn't about. Um, about legalizing, yeah. you know, uh, abortion, you know, why this is a particular story. So I don't even know why you're bringing that up. That doesn't. I'm that just reading the comments. The no, I, no, I'm talking to the commenter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, Mus I'm not <laughs> Muscal is saying an 11 year old shouldn't give birth. Why are people so freaked out at the concept of abortion? Jesus God can save people. Let me see if on Facebook. Uh, so Bobby is saying in this case being used to dis distract from the Catholic rape cases being brought forward. Um, I don't know. I think this is more embarrassment for the Catholic Church, isn't it? Like the fact that they can't tell that an 11 year old shouldn't be shouldn't be be giving birth. The only religion. I mean, not only religion, but re it's it's usually religion where it could make you come up with such, such, such fucked up conclusions. Yeah. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. 
In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.